When the Mavic 2 Pro was announced, it seemed like the perfect drone. As the sensor of the Phantom 4 Pro and the small size of the Mavic. To get that amazing image, it takes the right settings. So today I'm gonna guide you through what I found to be the best settings for a cinematic image. All right, let's dive in. The color settings affect the way that the image is recorded. Of course, the new 10-bit D-Log M is going to be superior to the normal setting. It gives you more dynamic range, and with the right corrective LUT, you'll have a richer, more cinematic looking image. And DJI has added an option to have a high contrast preview while you're shooting in D-Log M. So you can just click the button right here to enable that. So let's keep going. So the Mavic 2 has two recording options for 4K. Full field of view, which is a wider 28 millimeter focal length, and HQ mode, which has a cropped image of about 40 millimeters. HQ is a little bit sharper, but both are good enough to get the job done. And I think you should make your decision uh, based on a creative choice uh, on the focal length that you're going for. So here's an example. You can use the HQ mode as a way to compress your foreground and background together and gives a different visual effect. The new Mavic has an adjustable aperture, and while things look good from 2.8 up to 5.6, I found that f4 is the sharpest. Things get soft at f8, and f11 is very soft, so we'll stay at f4. Plus one sharpening has more noise than zero sharpening, but it's subtle and it doesn't flicker. But you still may want to remove some of that noise, especially in HQ mode. We'll talk more about that in a minute. A sharpening setting of zero has some in-camera noise reduction applied, but it doesn't turn to mush like the old Mavic. So you can use plus one sharpening or zero sharpening, depending on your taste. Choosing the right contrast setting is important. Too high and you could be losing some detail. Too low and you may cause additional noise. So what we're gonna look at here is a noise profile of D-Log M set at negative one contrast. So you can see there's a little bit of noise, but when we go to negative three, the noise really starts to increase right here at negative three contrast. We're pushing the sensor harder than it can be pushed. So let's keep the contrast at negative one. Now for the saturation, it's a little tricky. As soon as you go below zero saturation, there's a green shift. You'll lose some dynamic range if you try to correct it in post, and the highlights look a little bit strange. So I suggest keeping the saturation at zero uh, to have neutral looking colors. So for low light, having a large sensor means that you can push the ISO higher and still maintain a clean image. Unfortunately, you can't go past 1600 ISO in D-Log, but I found a little trick to make it happen. If you flip over to normal color and crank the ISO to 3200 or 6400, wherever you need, flip back to D-Log, and you'll be shooting at that ISO, which is pretty cool. And if any of my friends at DJI see this, maybe you can just leave that little quirk alone. Don't fix it. So here's the first D-Log ISO 6400 footage out there. It needs some serious noise reduction, so the guys at Neat Video helped me create some presets that make the low light footage usable, whether you're using D-Log or normal mode. So we're halfway there. You have the best settings for recording your image, which is D-Log M, zero or plus one sharpening, negative one contrast, and zero saturation. So now let's take it to post and make it look cinematic. So there are three problems that we need to correct. We need to fix the flat D-Log image, we need to fix the barrel distortion, and if you want, we can further color grade our image. Slight lens distortion is normal, but the amount you see here can be distracting. I got an update uh, email from DJI, and from what I understand, they won't be able to fix uh, the problem with firmware. So I made a correction for it um, in Premiere and Final Cut that you can download for free. So while there are a lot of free D-Log Mluts out there, I haven't been happy with any of them. Some of the tones and hues are a bit off. So I helped to develop something called SkyGrade's Natural Luts for D-Log M. These were created using a reference of calibrated colors to match the best settings to natural colors and contrast. You get three different presets, one for prioritizing your highlights, one that's neutral, and one for bringing down the shadows. I'm really happy with how it pops on the new 10-bit color profile. So there's a link in the description to download and start grading with it. 
If you didn't nail your exposure while you were shooting, you can make an adjustment. You should just place your adjustment before the blood. And this is one of the advantages of shooting a log. You can raise and lower the exposure before any contrast is applied. And that gives you more natural correction because you're not pushing that curve up and down. So color grading with 10-bit gives you the ability to push the image like you haven't been able to before. You can stretch it out and you can dig into the shadows. You can key colors more accurately and your LUTs look better. Something else you can do while grading is use secondary grades to add focus to your subject. So here's a shot where I wanna draw more attention to the church. I'll apply one of the sky grade cinema LUTs and then I'll draw a mask around the church and raise the highlights and midtones, And it looks great. Cinematic control over the camera movement is important. Once you get the feel of it, you'll be able to precisely tilt and pivot around your subject. I like a gimbal pitch speed of nine and a smoothness of about 21. And one of my favorite shots with the Mavic Pro was when I did a vertical pivot. It felt like something you would see on a large crane. Because I've been so used to my settings, my movement, I was able to land the shot after a big move and it looked really great. So practice with this. One of my favorite features on the Mavic 2 Pro is tripod mode. Tripod mode is perfect for when you are close to some foreground, you want to move through very slowly. You need to enable in-flight switching to tripod mode. You just go to the main controller settings and enable multiple flight modes. And now you can switch on the side of the remote to tripod mode whenever you need. So to review, D-Log M gives you more dynamic range. The style settings of zero plus one for sharpening look good. Negative one for contrast keeps the noise from creeping in and zero for saturation keeps any color shift from happening. Now just add your favorite natural or creative LUT and you're good to go. Hope that helps you get your Mavic 2 dialed in and ready to go. I'll link to all the downloads below. Uh, until next time, have fun flying.